Sony may put an end to fake news photos. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for tea time. Today we have a little bit of misty morning and that is it. So clean, so good guys. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a photo day. I know a lot of you guys have been giving me grief because I've been doing a lot of tech stuff, a lot of Starlink stuff, but today is a photo day. I try balancing things off. I read two articles, one article over on DP Review, one on Petapixel. They're both very similar. And I wanna quote an article from Jeremy Gray. He's over there on DP Review, I believe. And it had to do with anti-forgery. Sony is kind of trying to put the kibosh on fake news photos and other fake photos in general. And I think this is very, very important. And I'm glad that they're doing it. Now, are they the only corporation or let's say industry leader or organization doing this? No, there is others. And we'll get into that in just a minute. But I guess they saw a need or maybe even a want from other corporate entities that said, listen, we're using your cameras. Is there a way for you to bake in security for us? So we don't have to do X, Y, and Z to be able to make sure that these images are authentic. And Sony said, yeah, we can do that. Why the hell not? Anyways, before I get into this article, I wanna say thank you for being here. If you enjoyed this content, even in the least, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up and clicking this little bell icon over here so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. Also, if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, why the hell not? Go get them. They are free. Go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. So guys, let's get right into this article. I'm going to read through it real quick and then give you my commentary on it. I want to know your thoughts. Let's get into this article. It starts out by saying, Sony has announced in-camera forgery proof photo technology designed to help secure images against unauthorized manipulation and guarantee province. It is now available for the Sony a7 IV camera system and is aimed at corporate users wanting to safeguard the authenticity of their content. Much like the Content Authenticity Initiative, or the CAI, is attempting to do in both the consumer and commercial market. If you're unfamiliar with the CAI, it's an initiative created in 2019 by Adobe in partnership with Twitter and the New York Times. Both of those entities, I don't know if they should be involved with the content authenticity initiative, but they are. It consists of various media and tech companies working together to create an open industry standard for content authenticity and province. Companies involved include many media organizations like USA Today, The Washington Post, Getty Images, Associated Press, and the BBC. Sony isn't a member of the CAI, but it is a steering committee member of the Coalition of Content Province and Authenticity, or the C2PA, a joint development foundation project that combines the efforts of the CAI and Project Origin. The CAI works by applying a cryptographic signature at the time of content creation. From then on, there is a secure record of the creator, whatever information the creator wants to preserve, editing history, and a record of the content's proliferation through publication and social media. A consumer of the digital content can then view CAI information about the content. Sony's technology appears to use a similar idea using digital signature created at the time of capture using the camera's onboard processor. The files captured with the Sony A7 Mark IV cameras will then detect any modification to the image, which protects the creator or creators from fraudulent use. If someone augments the image without authority, there's a record of it. Sony writes, quote, with Sony's in-camera signing mode activated, images are immediately cryptographically signed by the camera's processor upon capture. 
Following this, any pixel modifications, tampering, or potential forgery will cancel the image signature, as the image manipulation will be detected by the customer's own certificate server during examination. The technology is designed with passports and ID verification in mind, but it can also be applied to media, medical, and law enforcement fields. Technology like this can also be used in the insurance and construction sectors, ensuring that images of any damage remain secure. Significant money is on the line in some industries and depends on truthful and accurate photographs. We can all use truthful and accurate photographs, can't we? It continues, Sony's new anti-forgery technology is currently only available in the Sony a7 IV, but Sony is working on bringing it to additional camera models. Yasuo Baba, Director of Digital Imaging and European Product Marketing at Sony says, quote, it's Sony's mission to strengthen business solutions with cutting edge imagery technology and our in-camera digital signing is a real game changer for combating image manipulation and forgery across multiple industries. Whilst appropriate adaptation for each industry need to be made, the digital signature is multilingual and can be used internationally, enabling organizations worldwide to streamline mandatory image signing with Sony technology. At launch, the in-camera forgery proof photo technology is currently only available on the Sony A7 Mark IV. The technology requires the receipt of a license to enable Sony's in-camera signing mode. There is no pricing information currently available, and any interested party should reach out to their local Sony PR manager. Sony says it will continue to consider additional camera support and provide customers across multiple industries with enhanced security. So I think this is pretty awesome. Number one, I like that Sony is getting involved with this because the writing has been on the wall for so many years that a lot of these industry standards, let's say, that are supposedly safeguarding images and being able to tell what is fraud and what is not, we know is either not working or the entities that are controlling these bodies are biased. There's only two options here. It's working or they're biased. And seeing who's involved in a lot of these committees and standards just looking at the names, I mean, it's pretty apparent what's going on. So what I think happened was a lot of larger corporations started using the Sony line of cameras. And they probably reached out and said, listen, Sony, is there a way that we can somehow cryptographically sign images that our people take? Let's say it's a photographer in the field for a news organization, or maybe it's an insurance company that is taking a picture of a claim of something or whatever. Is there something that you can do so that we can then review it and know that it is 100% authentic and not manipulated in any way, not augmented as they call it? I think that is very important. And once again, I think it's even more important when it comes to news because we are consuming a lot of news. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be on Twitter. It could be on ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox. It could be wherever. Some of these photos and maybe even video have been doctored. And it's very hard to tell that they have been. And there's only so much that these organizations can do to verify authenticity prior to releasing the story. There's only so much time. There's only so much manpower. So by forcing, let's say, its members to use, for example, a Sony A7 IV that has that cryptographic signature built into it, it allows them a means to know if the image is authentic or not. I think it is very powerful. I am glad that Sony is taking on this task in comparison to relying on the CAI or that conglomerate C2PA, which is a coalition between the CAI and that project origin. The names that we see involved in those initiatives are just problematic to me. I would rather entrust the security in Sony as long as they don't have a horse in the race and they can remain unbiased and neutral. Because that's, you know, this channel is even like that. Everything that I do, everything I say, you know, I'm not a fanboy one way or another. 
right? I could be a fan of stuff, but never a fanboy, and I'm not going to raise up a specific product because I own the product or because I have a bias in one direction or another. I'm just going to tell it how it is, and then you be the judge, right? Like I always say, everything I say, take with a grain of salt and do your own due diligence. I think that's the best way. Anyways, what do you think about this? I want to know your thoughts in the comment area below. Put those thoughts. Let's have this discussion. And if you got anything out of this video, even the least, please throw the video a thumbs up. That would be helpful. Also, if you just want to say thank you, some people have been asking me about that. There is a thank you button down there. Click it. Or even better, become a member of the channel. That would be awesome. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.